the Marvel Cinematic Universe has boldly embraced its television past by bringing the Netflix shows into continuity. First appearing in Spider-Man, No Way Home and later on Disney Plus through series like Hawkeye and Echo, the characters and narratives of those previous shows have now been renewed for a new audience. This is an exciting time for those who followed the Netflix series in their early days, and a fan-favorite character looks to be making his own comeback. With The Punisher entering the MCU proper for the first time, there's no telling what's in store for Frank Castle. The Punisher's origin story is a tragic one, which has been retold in the comics time and again. While the cinematic version of The Punisher has also had various adaptations of this origin tale, the Netflix one is of particular interest today. It reframes the narrative with a shocking conspiracy that changes what audiences know about the character. Perhaps this alteration should be streamlined upon his return, considering how much of a difference it makes for his arc and indeed, most importantly, his ideology. John Berthnall's Punisher returns to the MCU. Fans have been clamoring for his comeback. Before looking at the character's origin story, it's important to explore the Punisher's current place in the MCU. Much like the other Defenders, Frank Castle's status was up in the air for years. The character had been firmly established on screen, but there was talk of cancelling the continuity of those Netflix series and rebooting them all with the same cast members. Of course, the Netflix show, which does appear to still be canon now, wasn't the first live-action interpretation of Frank Castle. The Punisher had appeared in multiple films prior to that but had never got a proper start in the MCU. Beautifully played by John Bernthal, the character continues to boast his violent edge while carrying a sad and traumatic past. Punisher's quest to wipe out all crime through any means necessary is alive and well, and the Netflix shows used his relationships with other characters to add depth to that ideology. Indeed, Daredevil, in particular, is a strong critic of Castle, and they have had a fair few scraps. But Punisher, despite his flaws, is trying to make a real difference that doesn't rely on a potentially corrupt system. Bernthal is making his return to the MCU, and with him comes the same brutality that audiences know from the character. This is an adaptation of what's been seen on the page, with Bernthal fully committing to the character. Daredevil, Born Again is going to be taking many of those elements that made this adaptation so compelling in the first place. With the show not toning down the character, his most important aspects look to be maintained. That penchant for violence all stems back to his origin story, which is full of misery no matter which variation is depicted. Daredevil, Born Again won't retell this story as it's already available on Disney+, Plus, but it's a big piece of the puzzle and goes a long way in explaining who Frank Castle is at his core. The Punisher origin added a new wrinkle. A government corruption subplot twisted the narrative. The Punisher's basic origin story, no matter his interpretation, involves a man who has come home from war but never really left the battle behind. Suffering from his mental health and failing to fit into his new life, Frank Castle has always sought out trouble. There's something about the violence that makes him feel alive, it's like an addiction. But his world is turned upside down when, in a gang war, his family is fired upon and murdered. This experience sets him on a new mission, as he seeks to wipe out the forces that killed his loved ones, never stopping to realize when enough is enough. It's a tale that is continuously recycled, and new wrinkles are always added, concerning his obsessions, desires, and motivations. John Bernthal understands why the character is so popular despite his flaws, and this origin story goes a long way in helping audiences understand who the man behind the skull is. The version put to screen in The Punisher brings in an additional conspiracy, that the government was involved in the murder and that they had been pulling the strings for some time. In retaliation for Castle's insubordination throughout his time as a black ops specialist, a corrupt government official had created this horrific scenario. Punisher has certainly taken down corrupt governments in the comics, but to continue to pit the character against the US state itself is an interesting alternative take. It's also one that muddies the water of his true purpose. Bringing in these alternative original beats takes away from who Castle is supposed to be. In theory, once the government is taken down, then his true driving force should be gone. But, if the origin stuck with the mob being the ultimate bad guys, it allows Castle to paint that blank face onto any enemy, always giving himself a reason to keep pushing forward despite his controversial actions. Punisher might have been seen in absurd team-ups in the comics and has butted heads with a range of vigilantes, but he has always had a respect for authority. How does that present itself when his origin has made this transition?